Live from the Dunkin' Donuts Ice Coffee Lounge. Yo, what's up? It's Brady from Z100. Welcome to the Dunkin' Donuts Ice Coffee Lounge here on Z100.com. And uh, yo, we are here with somebody who we, we feel is going to be the next big thing Thank in you. music. Thank Elle Winter, you. how are you? Hi, I'm good. I'm so happy to be For here. For sure. Welcome to Z100. Thank and That's uh, crazy. I mean, it's kind of cool because you're from New York. Yeah, from New York City. I've grown up listening to Z100. It's my favorite station. So, and look so at you're here now. I've been so excited to come here. I was telling my manager, Dave, like, when are we doing Z100? <laughs> well, here we go. Now I you're know. here. You're going to perform some songs for everybody. Yes, I'm going to be performing and, uh, a single and some more songs. Very I'm cool. About. Very cool. Well, yeah, like I said, welcome. And, uh, you know, you're, you're 18 years old. Yes. And you're already more successful than any of us in this room, oh. um, obviously. Um, so you got your start uh, early. You, you were like... 11 or 12? Yeah, yeah. How, how did everything kind of like come about for you? So I've been writing music and recording music since I was eight years old, actually. Wow. And, and I was discovered by Radio Disney at 12, and they put me on a national tour. And then since then, I've just been in the studio working with different writers and producers. I've even done some film work, too, which has yeah. been fun. And Yo, you did a movie with Susan Sarandon. Yeah, which who is, is crazy. Like, she I is know, like a legend. A legend, but she is like an angel on earth. Yeah, she's the sweetest person. Yeah. Yeah, oh, so makes actually, so happy. a funny story. When I was about to film for the film, which is about Ray, so I was on my way back from LA. I was doing a video shoot for my new single that came out a few years ago, and um, I was on the plane reading my script, getting ready to to shoot. And the stewardess comes over. He's like, "Oh, what are you reading?" And I'm like, "This is a script. I'm filming my first movie ad." And he's like, "Oh, who's in it?" I tell him about it. He goes, "Yeah, Susan Sarandon's sitting right in front of you." I'm like, "Oh my god, that's so crazy." So I go up to her, I'm like, and she's reading the script too. And I'm like, yeah. I think we're reading the same script right now. And she's like, oh my God. And we started talking. And you start bonding. Yeah, yeah. And then at the end of the flight, she's like, I'll see you later. And I'm like, I can't believe Susan Sarandon's telling me she's going to see you soon. <laughs> I'm going to eventually get Susan Sarandon's phone number. Yeah. Oh my gosh. One day. <laughs> That's so cool. So you've, I mean, obviously you're keeping really busy. Um, and you, you've spent like the last year writing music. Yeah, right? yeah. So these past few years, I've been kind of discovering my sound and direction sure. musically. I've been working with different management who kind of wanted to take me in different directions. And I think this new sound is really authentic and genuine. We're doing really true pop with a little EDM influence. Okay. So I think it's, Very cool. it's really true is it, to me. Is it like, so if you could describe your music, it's like, it's obviously pop. Is it like, is it like feel good? Is there like messages in it? You know, because yeah, I feel like, yeah. I feel like a lot of music nowadays, it's either all like, you know, just go crazy in the club or there's right. messages, you know what I mean? It's like really heartfelt. Yeah, well, it depends. Like I write about what I'm going through and what I'm experiencing in my life. So if I want to write a song that's going to make me feel empowered, then that's going to be the message of that song. If I'm going to write another song about, you know, a boy I just met, then that's yeah. going to be the message of that song. So it really depends on what's happening. You, uh, We were just talking like before this um, about how you love Quest Bars. Oh, yes, You I should do. totally write a song about Quest Bars. Oh, I think I may, yeah. Oh my God, please do. I want them to sponsor do. me. Yeah, yo, if Quest Bar. If you guys are watching this, right here, the Quest birthday Bars. birthday cake flavor is my favorite. <laughs> there we go. Beautiful. Um, you know what? I, th I think, too, when it comes down to music especially, um, is, is getting like your getting your message across and stuff. Like, How do you plan on doing that over the next like, year? Yeah, I mean, I would love to tour and just connect with as many different audiences as possible and just get that exposure and meet new fans and supporters. I mean, I know how inspired I feel by my favorite artists yeah. so I just want to have that same connection with, with who are people. some of your favorite artists um, Bruno Mars I love him Ed Sheeran I think is the most brilliant writer oh, ever oh. hands down Cardi B she's the best oh my god the regular degular schmegular girl from the Bronx <laughs> yes exactly <laughs> and you're just the regular degular schmegular girl from Manhattan exactly yeah totally. Manhattan so we're basically the same person live from the Dunkin Donuts Ice Coffee Lounge 